So where do you see now, you know, I'm not saying the pandemic's over because, you know, we still have <laughs> all these bouts of everything, but now that people are kind of getting back into, you know, being, um, you know, moving around the country again, traveling and getting out, where do you see virtual training and coaching going? Do you see it here forever? Do you see it, you know, people kind of getting burnout and now just wanting to go back to face to face? Like, how does that work for you guys? I think it's gonna, it is gonna be around um, forever. And for me, it's probably a hybrid model. So, you, you know, you can have the best of both worlds. You can do your um, your one-to-one, -one, two, three, however many uh, times a week. And then you've got the advantage with all the great software um, out there, like we use um, True Coach. You can interact with your clients seven days a week, 365 days uh, of the year if you want to. And it's much, you know, much more comprehensive than the old style of sending spreadsheets and stuff like that. You've got, depending on where your clients are in the world, of course, because you've got the time difference, but you, you know, you can talk to them um, live. You know, there's video call catch ups. We try to have a video catch up once a month with with most clients if we can but i think it's definitely a it's definitely here to stay online training i, I would say because it gives you the best um the best of both worlds very nice i still do both. <laughs> yeah. yeah i i i, I think this is the key that i keep saying to people look at look at amazon as the best yeah. example the biggest online retailer in the world yet they still have bookstores up and up and down in certain cities and they're now doing Amazon Fresh, which is their daily produce. So the, you know, people love, people are social beings, or most people are social beings. They love that interaction. And fitness is, is meant to be fun. So you've still got to have that interactive ability. However, however, the thing I keep saying to people now is that people's habits have changed. There's a lot of working from home now mm. where people are not traveling to the office. Uh, so, uh, you know, for rightly or wrongly, the, the pandemic has shifted people's lives and the way they think and the way we go about doing certain things. So is it the end of in-person training? Absolutely not. You know, there's a bigger need for in-person training, I think, than ever before. However, people's lifestyles have slightly changed now. So you've got to understand, you, you've got to adapt to that. Like any, yeah. in any, any, any industry, you've got to adapt to the way society starts to go and where it starts. I mean, it's like, it's like the classic blockbuster and Netflix type thing, yeah. like blockbusters... <laughs> Didn't see, didn't see the need for streaming services. Netflix did, and then I, wow, mi I missed Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, I, I did too, actually. Be kind, please rewind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, 